Well, hey, how you doing? John McGowan, Indoor Cycle Instructor Podcast. I'm here in beautiful, where am I? Montego Bay, Jamaica. Just finished up teaching a quick class here. Now, if you're anything like me, one of your biggest frustrations is getting your students to spend a little more time turning this red knob here. You recognize that. <sighs> Gotta breathe. You recognize that the amount of work your students do is really what's going to improve their performance, help them manage their body weight, all the things they come to your class for. The problem is, nothing on this bike tells them how much work they actually do. Now, if you've done this any length of time, you know at the end of this class, that flywheel is going to be pretty warm. Easily understood. The energy that you create that your body gives off goes to heating up that flywheel. So the idea becomes what would happen if you could accurately measure the rise in temperature, or what an engineer would call the delta. You measure that, use that as a method to compare one day to the next, you against somebody else, all of a sudden we go from just exercising to applying real metrics, which is the basis of training. Let me show you how I do this. Now, the key to making this work is being able to measure the temperature of this flywheel accurately. That's where one of these little digital laser thermometers comes into play. Now, before I can just start measuring off of this flywheel, one thing that's important to understand is that these don't read well on shiny surfaces. So what I've done is taken some simple mailing labels, spray painted them with flat black paint, fixed one here, then at the end of class, as the instructor or as a student, they can come over here, quickly just point at it. There's a little red dot from the laser, shows you when you're pointing at it, and it gives you the temperature. So what you're looking for is to be able to very quickly give your students the delta. You start at whatever temperature, 62 degrees, and then you may see a rise to 90 degrees, 95 degrees. You may have some very large, strong students that could push it up to 100 in a 45-minute class. Obviously, the longer class. But the important thing to recognize is that it's an individual uh, thing. Just like your metabolic rate, your own AT, all those things that go along with that. So what we're looking for is an individual change. And it gives us the ability to measure one day, one class to the next, gently encouraging them Make sure to turn that red knob, carry as much load as possible, create as much work as possible. Net results are all the things we're looking for. All right, and here's, before I get started, kind of get the ambient temperature, the air conditioning's on in this small studio, showing me about 64 degrees. All right, and here's after 45 minutes, Pushing up to about 97 degrees. And here are the pieces that you need to put this together. Just some common mailing labels. Just so you can see what that is. And then what I've done is I've spray painted it with some flat black paint. And that will allow uh, this little gem. And this is just simply a digital laser thermometer. Push it, whatever it's pointing at, as long as it's not shiny, will give you a relatively accurate reading of the temperature. Right now it's looking at this other piece of equipment, which is, again, kind of the ambient temperature here in the room, about 62 degrees. I've got a link to uh, pick up one of these uh, on my website, indoorcycleinstructor.com. Now, as soon as you start bringing metrics, measurable things, into your class, what this is going to give you the opportunity is to, well, first and foremost, to get that peer pressure working back and forth between everybody. Now, you may have some students that you only want to tell them that delta number, the difference between you know, what the, everything started at and what their maximum temp, flywheel temperature was. Give it to them privately so that they can just do it. But there are going to be plenty of people in your class that are going to start looking at each other and saying, how much heat are we going to create today? So until next time, this is John with the Indoor Cycle Instructor Podcast. Uh, you 
can email me with questions, comments, or your maximum temperature, john at indoorcycleinstructor.com. Thanks.